It was my first time traveling around Japan in fall. This time, I had the chance to explore the Kansai region. We started off our trip in Osaka. With Osaka famous for its food scene, we situated ourselves around the Shinsaibashi and Dotenbori area. Once we were there, I felt all my senses kicking in from every direction. The food prepared at each and every store were also tempting. A stark contrast to the busy Dotenbori was the Hozenji Alley. I found this to be one of the most beautiful streets in Osaka, especially because it gave off such a magical Edo period atmosphere. Uncle Rikuro's cheesecake was something that I had to try. 12 freshly baked, light and fluffy cheesecakes come out in batches every 5 to 10 minutes, where a bell is rung to inform customers when a fresh batch has arrived. In the evening, we stumbled upon Kitamura, a famous sukiyaki restaurant. Luckily, they were able to accommodate us, but I suggest you make a reservation in advance. It really is worth it. The next day, we took a trip to Kyoto. We visited Arashiyama in hopes to see the autumn foliage, but we were a week too early. Nonetheless, we were lucky enough to witness the Momiji festival happening on the river. We had lunch at a restaurant whose menu revolves entirely around tofu. I was amazed by the atmosphere inside as the restaurant overlooks a beautiful zen garden. Opposite the Kimono Forest is a foot onsen, placed right between two platforms within Kyoto Station. Next, we crossed the road to Tenryuji. Although I had been here before, the autumn scenery gave the place an entirely different vibe. Dinner was at Arashiyama's famous eel restaurant. I decided to book this in advance to avoid having to queue for hours during lunch, and I think I made the right decision. The next day, we made our way to Kobe, which meant we had to try the ever so famous Kobe beef. In my opinion, the best way to try it is through teppanyaki. Don't forget to order the garlic fried rice made with Kobe beef drippings. After spending the night at Arima, we were ready to explore the quaint onsen town that dates a thousand years back, making it known to be one of the oldest onsen towns in Japan.
I loved everything about this place and only wished for more time to enjoy it. Back in Osaka, we had dinner at Asai Toge, a unique kaiseki restaurant serving up Okinawan cuisine. The amount of detail put into every dish made it all the more special, and I left feeling not only satisfied, but also comforted. On our last day, we had some time in the morning before our flight to walk around the bustling Kuromon market. Leaving Japan after not having been here for two years, I realized it never fails to create beautiful memories that make me keep wanting to come back.